That was Dave Lee. Now, last week, the world's best player in the Chinese board game Go was pretty soundly beaten by Google's artificial intelligence AlphaGo. For those following the rapid development of AI, the result wasn't exactly a surprise. 20 years ago, however, a victory of machine over man shocked the world, prompting apocalyptic warnings about our own role in society and questions about whether humanity could survive in a world where we could be outthought by computer. The man at the centre of that match was chess grandmaster Garry Kasparov. The machine was IBM's supercomputer, Deep Blue. You talk about the fact that it took you quite a long time to get over that defeat in that chess game. Um, that's that's true. <laughs> Can you explain why it took that long and, and how you eventually did get over it? It was my first loss. And losing this match, uh, um, that was a big shock. Um, I mean, I knew I made mistakes and I didn't play well and I could kick myself in my head so for not preparing well for the match. Since then, you've become an advocate of AI. At the end of the day, uh, future is a self-fulfilling prophecy. So if we're negative, something wrong will happen. I'm not telling you that if we're positive we can avoid it, but at least we have a chance to, to turn it in, into our adventure. And, and since it's happening anyway, and I could see what's happening in the game of chess, I have been looking for, for, for ways and means to, to make, it, make it our partner. And I believe that there's so many things we can do, and when people say, no, we don't know what's going to happen next, fantastic. That is exactly the reason for us to move there, because we don't know uh, that was one of the, one of the main so driving forces in the history of humanity. The AlphaGo software that's just won the match with Go works in a very different way, which is teaching itself the rules. How do you feel about that kind of AI? Is that the way that AI should go, learn about the rules of the world? One should say that Deep Blue was anything but intelligent. It was as intelligent as, as your alarm clock. Very expensive one, $10 million alarm clock, but still, you know, alarm clock. Very powerful, brute force, with little chess knowledge. But chess proved to be vulnerable to this brute force. It could be crunched. But with 200 million positions per second, that's roughly was the average speed of, of, of Deep Blue, it showed very little intelligence. So it's, it's, it, it, it gave us almost no uh, in, insight into the mysteries of human intelligence. AlphaGo is different because it's self-teaching program. Um, and uh, um, if, we, if we're looking for AI definition, it's still hard to clearly understand uh, 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 whether AlphaGo is AI, because now we're moving from probably from science to philosophy. So we still don't understand exactly what human intelligence is. What do you think are the grand challenges for artificial intelligence? What are the things that maybe aren't being talked about enough or that people don't think about enough when it comes to accepting and implementing artificial intelligence? One thing that's important to remember that everything that we do and we know how to do, machines will do better eventually. Everything. Everything we do and we know how we do. But there's so many things that we don't know how we do. And let's concentrate on that uh, because machines have algorithms and they, they're getting better and better, but machines have no curiosity, no passion, and most important, machines don't have purpose. And maybe the good thing is that, so we know we have purpose, but we, know we, we don't know exactly you know, what the purpose is. So that guarantees that we'll stay around for quite a while.